Well, today we're taking a little break in the morning because my ankles and feet are like swollen from yesterday's 10,000 steps. And got up at seven instead of five. I needed a little extra sleep, it's okay. And seven is still a huge difference, you know. I'm self-employed, I usually get up at whenever the hell I want. Uh, and we do night dives, so I don't get up early, usually. Anyway, today we are going to do an interview with a local, like another channel, a YouTube channel that's here in the Philippines. And then after that, we're gonna focus on nutrition. We'll make a video showing our, we're gonna do a bunch of meal prep. Try to stick under 1,500 calories a day, and but with lots of fat. Really, really keto. Not quite paleo, but super low to zero carbs and sugar. All right, guys. Interview went good. Uh, did that. Came home around one, I think, 1:30, and ate my meal. Looks like this. And uh, really low calories, really good, and it's enough for me. I'm not hungry at all. Now I'm gonna hit the bag, hit punching bag for a good 20 minutes or so, or maybe do the bike or both. Uh, we gotta wait for the meat and fish that we just bought to thaw out, and then once that's done, we'll do some meal preps for the rest of the week so that you guys can show me what I'm doing wrong or if I'm doing good or whatever. We'll go through that later, so. I'm gonna go change and go bucks, and I think Kevin is hungry. I'm coming, Kevin. <laughs> My legs and ankles are really killing me from yesterday. Have you guys missed that video? I'm jealous. You shouldn't watch it. It's pretty bad. So, uh, I got no energy. Oh, I'm so summer. I'm gonna put the gloves. Let's do this. What are you doing? So here's the plan. So I went on the TDE, -E -E, whatever it's called, page. And you import, you input your uh, age, uh, weight, height, all that, and it tells you how many calories you need just to maintain weight, not gain weight. And mine was like 3,700 calories a day, which is a lot. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure I was eating more before that. But starting this diet, I kind of expected to have to like be eating way less calories. Uh, but I'm still, I'm not going to do 3,700 calories a day. I'm going to cut it in half or more. I'm going to shoot for less than 2,000 calories and hopefully 1,500 calories per day. So with that in mind, I went and just now I went and calculated all the, I had to go look up all the calories for every food and I got the weigher machine. All these ingredients are... 100% sugar and carb free, like 100%, not even a little, not even 20 grams, which uh, Dr. Bird said would be okay, uh, because I know I'm gonna mess up somewhere and accidentally have a gram or two here and there. So I think it's more important that I watch carbs and sugar 
than I do calories, but I'm gonna try to do both. But if I go over 1500, I'm shooting for 1500 to 2000. But if I go a little bit over, at least I know they're clean calories. Uh, how he explained it in his book is just, there's, there's fat calories and there's sugar calories. And if you're not consuming sugar calories, your body burns your fat. Um, but, and that's, that's what it wants. But if you're like, let's say you consume a thousand calories of clean calories, of fat calories, it, it, your body doesn't burn that. It just, uh, it'll burn your fat that you already have. Uh, but let's say you drink a thousand calorie monster energy drink, your body will burn that instead of your body fat. So you won't lose any weight. I'm butchering that, but that's how I explain That's how I learned it. And in other words, everything here, yeah, I'm going to start it, try to stay under 2000, but, uh, you know, more important is zero grams of carbs per day while doing the intermittent fasting. So let's get started on the first meal or the first day, which will be tomorrow. Um, and by the way, before you say these meals are too small, I've been testing them out all week. You guys have seen the videos. I've been testing out intermittent fasting, which hurt for the first two days. Now I'm not hungry at all. I'm basically eating because I have to, like I'm setting alarm and saying, I need to eat now, so I'm not hungry tonight and I don't want to eat at night. Um, plus I've been working out way too hard and I need energy. And that's another thing Dr. Berg says, people make mistake with intermittent fasting is, or low, low carb eating is, uh, when they do eat, they need to eat really beneficial meals, vitamin, uh, I think it said 80% fats, um, uh, leafy stuff, you know, all the good stuff, lots of protein. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do right now. We're going to make tomorrow's meals, two meals. Let me tell you first. Day one, obviously. Meal one, I'm going to have 200 grams of salmon, like a seared salmon steak, 200 grams. I've been testing it out. It's perfect size. 100 grams of avocado, like chopped up. It's really good on the side. One tomato, because tomatoes are small here in the Philippines. And boy, uh, I, I think it's 100 grams of uh, boiled broccoli. And that all comes out to 640 calories for the first meal. Second meal, 200 grams of chicken breast, maybe like on a skewer or something. Uh, one boiled egg, 200 grams of lettuce like a salad, half a bell pepper, uh, maybe on the skewer or whatever. And that all comes out to 683 ki calories for that meal, which both meals combined will be 1,323 calories for the whole day. That's under 1,500, but let's just say 1,500 because I am gonna add sauteed onions, um, quite a, uh, some flavoring, some cayenne pepper, you know, some spices that are supposed to have no calories, but you never know. I'm not cheating, but I want to flavor the steaks, the stuff that I, you know, I'm going to put some stuff, like some flavoring and stuff. So let's just say 1500 for the day. So I hate overcooked fish. I'm trying to just sear it. In a really hot pan, a lot of oil. You can still see the pink middle. That one's a little thin. That one's probably perfect. I'm gonna add some MCT oil later. I don't wanna add it now because it might make it soggy because I'm not eating it until tomorrow. And but when I go to eat it, I'll put oil, more oil, MCT oil on the fish and the salad. And that's why I cut it in the square. So basically I'm just gonna cook the rest of the salmon while we're at it. I don't wanna waste that whole filet. And I'll be honest, I could eat this every day. If I was rich, I would eat this every day. Um, 
But yeah, I don't want it to go bad by planning not eating this for like another week. So I'm just gonna have it on my second meal as well tomorrow. And over here, we're gonna start on the broccoli and cauliflower. Let me see. I already mixed it up for the video on accident. Or not accident, but you know. So, you know what? They're pretty much the same calories. They're 100 grams of each. I'm just gonna mix them up and have a little bit, like 50 calories of each on both meals. Can I put this in now? Uh, so, Judea, I have no idea how to cook this. She put some Himalayan salt and maybe some other flavors in there and she's gonna boil the broccoli. Time for the... Okay, we're done. Day one, or meal one, we got the 200 grams of salmon, whole bunch of uh, fried bell pepper. We got a lettuce. Um, we're also doing avocado, but we're gonna slice it tomorrow because it'll probably be no good if I put it in there now. And then I got an egg, a boiled egg. Day, meal two, another salmon because I decided to not use the chicken. I wanted to finish the salmon. It'll probably go bad in the fridge. I got a whole uh, tomato, and then we got another avocado, and then over here, I have boiled broccoli and boiled cauliflower, 100 grams each. I will split it up. I'm, it needed its own bowl, but I'll just eat one for one meal and one for the other. So that'll go with these two. This one looks a little empty, but don't forget, I gotta put the avocado and the egg and stuff. So, yeah. All right, that is it for tomorrow. And as you can see, there's an extra bowl uh, because there was extra salmon. I, I There was actually just enough salmon, 200 grams for another meal. And I'm not gonna put it back in the fridge for a week. So we just cooked it and we'll have it the next day. We already started on the next day. And guys, I know, I have friends that won't eat the same meal once or twice a week. So, but with me, there's certain things that I love so much, I'll eat it every day for the rest of my life, I don't care. Salmon is one of them. It was sushimi, but I can't have rice now, so. I have two awesome salmon meals tomorrow. Like I said, it's all under 1,500 calories. Um, lots of greens, lots of vegetables. I put salt and cayenne, like all these other uh, things to give it more vitamins and stuff that has no carbs. And then uh, MCT oil that I'm not, again, I'm not gonna put it on the salad and stuff right now because it might get soggy by tomorrow. But when I go to eat it, I got more oil because you need lots of fats for this diet. And then I got little dressings like uh, apple cider vinegar. I don't have Caesar right now, but pretty soon I'll go to the, go to the city and buy sugar-free Caesar for salads or whatever. But honestly, I've been eating salmon with cucumber, salmon with tomato, and it's so freaking good. I'm not tired of it yet, so I'm happy with that. If I can get away with no dressings for once in my freaking life, I'm gonna do it. So anyways, this video is getting too long. I'm not gonna show you the rest of the cooking, but you know what we're doing, so see you tomorrow.